All right, we got a mismatched gray lid with a purple box. I'm gonna bring this down so you can see inside of it. Okay, let's see if we can focus on what's in there. And we have... Well, I went and done it. I bought myself a sewing machine. This is a, if it is what I think it is, this is a rare um, vintage sewing machine that I've been looking to get for quite some time. And we'll talk more about it as we see it. But right now what we're gonna talk about is packaging. I don't know if you can tell, but this looks like one of those plastic containers you can get at your local big box store that you keep your old sweaters in. And this thing got shipped in it. Um, one thing I'm noticing up here on the top, uh, there's a, it appears to be a cord kind of sticking out there, power cord. So maybe that's your first little glimpse as to what this machine is. Um, as I look around here, there's something going around. And then if you look on the back, there's this big bulge right here. And this is, um, they used a strap to hold it closed. So I bought this on eBay and the seller obviously went through a lot of work to make sure this thing got here safely. So I appreciate that. But I'm not sure that this container was the best choice. We will find out though. Maybe it was, maybe it worked just fine. So let's find out together. Not too worried about cutting the machine. Okay, yeah, we do have a strap going across there. Well, if the machine didn't su survive, at least I have a nice strap. If I'm remembering correctly, I think I paid $100 for shipping, so hopefully that strap was part of that shipping cost. This is pretty hefty, and you can see there's some damage here from shipping, so something hit right there. We've got some discoloration around here. We got a crack up here. More discoloration, more places we have a hole on this side right in there and I can see a little bit of bubble wrap so looks like we might have some packing material inside all right we got a mismatched gray lid with a purple box I'm gonna bring this down so you can see inside of it Okay, let's see if we can focus on what's in there. And we have more bubble wrap. Oh, we got a clue. That's the side of a case. Adler, hmm. So if that was together before it was shipped, it's not together now. This is uh, my second vintage machine I've ordered or purchased off the internet that came destroyed. Yeah, so if it was inside this case nicely when they packed it, it's not now. The machine has fallen. And I am really close to that microphone, I just realized. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to pull the machine out. I'll, I'll put it on the table right now the box uh, is completely destroyed we might be able to fix the the case we'll see i personally am not that concerned with the case i know it wasn't the greatest condition to begin with and now it's um, even worse so let's pull this machine out of here and see what we have so this thing has blown out 
so both sides destroyed. The back side has come off of that. It's very difficult to ship one of these wooden cases and not destroy it. Well, there we have it. Yep, yeah, that pin is bent. So we actually have the bobbin case, so that's a good thing. I don't have any accessories. All right, it's not locked up, that's good. The one thing you want to make sure you have when you have one of these machines is a timing belt. This is not the original belt. Well, I don't know for sure. I can't say that for sure. It's not a cloth belt. The reason I got this machine is I wanted to check the clearance for the belt, all the measurements for this belt, because I want to have some of these produced and sell them on my Etsy store. Because these belts are what have hamstrung a bunch of these machines. It's a beautiful machine, produces a great stitch, but so many of them just don't work because of that belt is missing. I was doing a little bit of uh, more research into this machine and my sleuthy skills found a couple things. So one is I found this in the packaging. So I went through all that packaging to make sure I didn't miss anything. So this is a little metal piece broken off. And I looked all over this machine trying to figure out where that came from. Well, as it turns out, it came from the case, which is actually a good thing. <clears throat> but when you look at these cases, they've got a little screw right here. So this is the bottom part of the case that this machine would sit in. And what this was was the little piece that when you put the machine in, you flip this over and it'll hold the machine in place. So that's what this piece is. And then doing a little bit more um, sleuthing, I found something. And some of you may have seen it already in the video that I posted, or early on in the video. You may have seen, see these two right here? This is the hinge, right? You got two hinges, and the machine goes into these hinges to be, um, there's actually a screw on the bottom of the machine that screws in here to keep the machine attached to these hinges so that when you um, lift up the machine and bend it back you can get underneath the tray and the machine is still attached and then when you set the machine back these help hold it down as well as this little metal piece that I threw in here um, those three points of contact hold the machine in place well this machine has two other hinges so they are attached, the, the screws are actually holding them in place. But these hinges came from a different cabinet. So the plot thickens. What this really means is this was sitting on top of... It wasn't sitting correctly in this base when it was shipped. And so it was free to just move around whenever that thing got flipped upside down or thrown around, and even that might be bent too right there, but um, that's something you gotta be careful for. So there's really no points of contact holding this machine in place inside this wooden case. Also, I should have gotten a whole bunch of accessories, like two knee pedals and all the, all the um, cams 
and all that stuff should have come with this and it did not and the seller is going to send them to me realized that he forgot to put them in the, the box he's also going to refund me a little bit of money for this so the seller is stand-up person I do business with them again um, honest mistake that they forgot stuff uh, the shipping people don't realize just how heavy these machines are this is not a light machine and it's also very fragile so you have to pack them in there really good and in fact I'd say if you're buying a vintage machine on eBay and it's somebody who's never shipped one before um, I would be wary in actually purchasing that machine because you're guaranteed that there's going to be some sort of damage to that machine when you get it um, unless it's in like some sort of styrofoam packing to keep it from moving around or not necessarily styrofoam but some sort of good packing to keep it from moving around with all the weight that's contained in this this beast of a machine all right that's all i had for this video hey thanks for watching and we'll see you next time